Hey everyone, it's Haley. And Candy. And this is Mom Life Vermont, and we are on a new adventure. I'm technically on a new adventure, but Kenzie and I came out for the intro. One of my best friends, Alicia, invited me to a DJ night spinning class. It's an evening class. It's not gonna be dark, I think, today, but there's supposed to be flashing lights and DJ sounds, and it should be a good time. Yeah. And my said I my can't come. No, you can't come, but maybe you and Daddy can drive by because it is actually an outside class. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta tell Daddy you wanna come and drive by so you can see Mommy and Alicia. I'm just now on my way to my friend's house, Alicia. I have realized that uh, she has not been on the channel in a while. I did do a cider taste testing with her maybe a couple of years ago at this point. Alicia and I are besties and we are going to a night DJ spinning class. And this is actually happening at the Fitness Zone, which is another gym in my area. I'm not a member of this gym. Alicia, I believe, is a member, but she just happened to, I think, drive by the parking lot of this gym and saw the night spinning class and thought it was really fun, so signed up and then said, hey, if you're interested, I'm doing the spinning class. Are you interested? This is my first spinning class. I am a little nervous, but I'm very, very excited that I kind of have like a partner in crime on this one. I'm pumped, I'm excited. I know one of the first things that we are going to do when we get to this gym today is do a fitting. I didn't realize that you had to get fitted in the right position on the bike. I don't know why that seems so shocking to me because I have actually done a personal training session at Duke's with the owner over there and he wrote down the specific position that the weight equipment has to be in in order for it to fit my body. Totally makes sense that the bike would be the same way. Actually pretty excited to get this fitting because I'm pretty sure that would translate to me being able to know these fittings for other bikes at Duke's or other spinning classes I might be interested in or if I buy myself a Peloton those type of moments. I'm looking forward to it. I'm almost there. I'm getting there. We're getting done. class it was so fun I was very very nervous about the possibility of not being able to actually do the whole 45 minute class like I thought I was gonna need to stop I was gonna need some breaks but with the way that cycling is set up or at least in my opinion the way that the cycling was set up was I really got to pick the resistance and the speed and I was given some pointers on hey if you need to kind of like go back in your saddle or sit down during a stand up part or maybe you needed to stand up because your butt hurt because of the stinking seat which I have to say my butt started to hurt on that seat. Definitely something I want to try again and Alicia also really really enjoyed the cycling and it's something that she's interested in trying again. I have to say the loud music and like the blaring pop music hit top 40 definitely kept the momentum going and the beats going and just the whole class going. So I think it'll be interesting to see what a normal class is like, a class that is inside. A class like do they have loud music in most cycling classes? The instructor 
was obviously somebody I'd never met before, is not somebody I would see if I go to my own gym cycling. It kind of makes me go, I wonder what cycling is like at my gym. I believe the owner of the gym, Nate, does some of the classes, and then I don't know who does some of the other classes. Um, they do also have just regular bikes in the equipment room, so maybe I could just grab one and give it a try. Seems like cycling could definitely cost you a lot. Special shoes, special shorts, special outfits. So I just had fun, so I definitely want to give it a try again and see if I like it, see if it's something I want to continue. And if you've never done cycling and it's something that maybe you're thinking, could I do it? Yes, yes you could. There is so many options and variables within the cycling. Like I said, resistance, how fast you're going, the beats, the reps per minute, I think it was called, that just made it my own ride. It allowed me to participate, not feel like I was overdoing it, not feeling like I had to like step back and stop and wait a minute. I did feel like maybe some people were watching me and saying, that girl can do it, I can do it. I was probably the fattest girl in the room, which is fine, which is fine. We're moving beyond that. If you guys have found a exercise routine, a workout type, cycling, boxing, there's boxing at my gym, I don't know why I thought that was so weird, kickboxing, ribbon, athletic, aerobics, I don't know. If you found something that you absolutely love or that you've tried and just been, I'm so happy that I gave it a try, let me know down in the comments because I really want to try new and exciting classes and the fact that Alicia is definitely open to trying new and exciting classes just makes me go, hey, in those moments where I'm like, how about a Tabata class? Um, we could just go and do that together and I don't need to feel nervous or anxious or scared because I'm doing it by myself. I'm bringing a friend. Let me know because I want to see what I can check out, see what I can find, see what I might really, really enjoy. Because I feel like at this point in the journey, I don't know if you guys have followed along on any of it, but go check out some of the videos. I've definitely had lack of motivation, really, really a hard time like sticking to any sort of pattern or habit or lifestyle right now that maybe going to classes is the change I needed. Going to a 30 minute class, getting out, getting involved. Maybe that will get me more excited and kind of back on track, right? We'll see. You never know what's going to happen around here. You really never know. <laughs> I never know. We never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I just wanted to let you guys know, my butt hurts. When I was sitting on the seat, it hurt. A lot of times when she was like, just lean back into the seat, take a minute, I was like, mm -mm, not going to happen. That's not relaxing at all. And every once in a while when I move and sit while I'm home now, I definitely can feel that. So, <laughs> cycling, day one, your butt hurts.